Hi students, welcome to our English class. Today, we are going to discuss about the features of academic writings. But first, what is an academic writing? An academic writing is a clear, concise, focused, and structured form of writing and should be backed up by evidence. It has a formal tone and style, but it is not complex and does not require the use of long sentences and complicated vocabulary. Here are the importance of academic writing. It helps students to convey acquired knowledge, improve learning development, and think critically and it also prepares them for more challenging school works in the future. Now let us discuss the features of academic writing. The first is formal. Academic writing is a kind of writing that provides the reader with all the information they need to understand. The words that are used here are formal, so there are a few things to remember in your choice of words. First, you should replace informal words. You should use full words instead of contractions. And you should avoid colloquial language. The next feature of academic writing is objective. Academic writing presents and evaluates issues based on facts and evidences. The content of an academic writing focus on research and reasoning and not based on personal emotions. Personal pronouns, especially I, you, and we, are usually avoided in academic writings. Example Instead of saying, I believe that the learning modality have a great effect in a student's performance in school, it is more proper to write this. According to surveys, learning modality have a great effect in a student's performance in school. Now that you have already learned the two features of academic writing which are formal and objective, let us now discuss the organization of academic writing. Organization in writing is how ideas are presented and written. The flow of writing affects how readers interpret ideas. The structure of academic writing is similar to a paragraph. It should have these three. Introduction. It should be captivating and does not only hook the readers but also state the purpose of the writing. Body. It should contain the evidences and factual information. And conclusion. 
it summarizes the whole writing. In organizing our ideas in academic writing, we can use graphic organizers and outlining. This is an example of a graphic organizer. And we call this the hamburger. If you can see, it has introduction, body, and conclusion. You can use this in organizing your ideas. Another kind of graphic organizer is the fishbone diagram. This is used when you are going to organize an academic writing that shows cause and effect. Another way of organizing ideas aside from graphic organizer is making an outline. That's all for today. Thank you for listening to our discussion. Thank you for watching! Click subscribe here at Teacher Refix.